Hi, this is Linda with Crafty Music Maker. Today I'd like to show you how to put staff lines on your board. My last two schools were in classrooms and so they didn't have any of the staff lines on there and I wanted them up so that I could have them all the time. So what you need today is some pinstriping. It's 1 8 inch black that you can get at any auto parts store. You need a ruler, a pair of scissors, and a dry erase mark. And then if you're going to use circles, figure out which ones you're going to use so you can measure your lines. These are just poker chips with magnetic tape on the back. So let's get started. I went ahead and measured my lines so that I didn't have to deal with the whole reel while I was trying to put them up. But before I can do that, I need to measure how far I want down. And I've determined that I would like these to be 14 inches down. So I'm just going to put it right up there. And 14 inches is right here. And then I just go across, measure 14 inches. A little, far, a little farther, and down here, and maybe just one more for good measure. So, what I do is I take my tape, and the trickiest part is laying that first end straight. Now you can choose to go on top of the lines, but if you do that and you pull it up to readjust it, your line disappears. So I'm gonna do mine just below it. So I'm gonna put this right under it. And again, I'm on it straight. So that's pretty good. Hold that side down. And then I just pull it tight Put it under the next dot and then press it down along the board and I just keep working my way across my board. And just lifting it up if I feel like maybe it got off a little and trying it again. And then, again, making sure this last little bit is straight. There we go. And then, you need to decide how wide you want your stripes. Mine are just about an inch and a half apart. So I take my ruler, and since my board isn't that deep, I'm going to go from this side. And I'll just put it on the 10 and at the bottom. And I'm just going to mark off an inch and a half here, an inch and a half here, another one, and the last one. And I'm just going to do that at those same places that I did before. So I'm just evenly marking them off. And the last one. Okay, if I measure correctly, this should work out. So, all my measuring should be finished. So I just take my tape, do that tricky first part again, right underneath there. Pull that tape out, go underneath that first line, and just continue on all the way. Again, I just lift it up if I feel like it's not as straight as I think it should be. There we go. And the last little bit. the trickiest. There we go. 
go. And then, here's and then here's the last one. Once you get this end down, you're good. Sometimes um, I want a three line staff for my first graders. And this is a really good way to do that. Anyway, super easy. Then when I wanna put notes on here, it's just so nice for me to just be able to put them right up here, change them out super quickly. And, uh, or you can even, you know, use them to write notes in if you want to do some dictation. They do have a little bump to them, but it's not really a big deal. And it's nice that they're there. And then, of course, you just erase and boom, ready for your next song. I'm going to erase these other lines right there. And there I have an instant staff ready to go. Good luck. Let me know how you do this. Like this video if this is something you found helpful and subscribe if you want to see any other of my videos.